On today's Area 51 adventure, we went looking for camo dudes at both gates of Area 51. And well, let's just say we found exactly what we were looking for. Make sure you watch till the very end so that way you don't miss a thing. All right, guys, we got a camo dude. It's the white Ford Raptor. I'm sure they're probably keeping a close eye on us today. <laughs> You got me. I'll give you that. You got me. All right, everybody. So if you ever wonder how to get to the back gate of Area 51, I will show you here. So first, I know my windshield is broken. I know I'm getting it fixed. But we're about a mile down the road from Rachel, Nevada, uh, heading south. And if you take the first right turn right here where the stop sign is, it's a completely unmarked road. This is how you get to the back gate of Area 51. Like I said, no sign at all, just a stop sign. Or no road sign, anyway. And then if we go down this road for about seven or eight miles, we'll eventually run into the back gate. The first five or six miles, I wanna say, is all gravel, and the last couple miles is paved. So if you're coming down this road and you hit the pavement, you know you're pretty close. Hey, quick question. Have you guys seen any like alien looking figures or camo dudes out here? All right, I'll take silence as a no. All right, guys, we got a camo dude. It's the white Ford Raptor. We'll wave. What a dick, he didn't even wave back. He did kind of smile though once he saw my alien. All right, so we're getting pretty close to Area 51. Just saw a camo dude, that was awesome. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get another interaction with the camo dudes. Two of the times I've been out here, they've like honked a horn at me and they've actually even yelled at me and called me a loser. <laughs> Wasn't the most polite thing in the world, but what the hell, it makes for great content. We're just about to hit the pavement and then we should be at uh, Area 51 back gate in like a couple minutes. Well, spank my ass and call me Harold. We made it, guys. We made it to the back gate of Area 51. Cue the X-Files music. Area 51, dun dun dun. All right, let's go check it out. Paul, you ready to go back home? All right, so this is the back gate right here. We're gonna get a little close here and see if we can't get a little interaction. There is a truck way back there. I don't see anybody. They're probably changing shifts. Some guy's probably leaving for the day. Some guy's probably coming in. Just giving him the turnover. I did see a car or another. Oh, there's a camo dude up there. See if I can zoom in for you guys. Now there's some activity back there. Hopefully he's leaving so we can get a view of him. I'm sure they're probably keeping a close eye on us today. <laughs> you got me. I'll give you that. You got me. Son of a bitch. I almost pissed my pants. Do it again, do it again. You can see how far the fence goes. They got their warning signs all over the place. There's probably people in there right now, sitting on their office chairs, drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Probably eating donuts as well too. So after poking around the back gate for about another 15 minutes, it became pretty evident that the camo dudes weren't really feeling that festive. So we decided to make our way to the front gate, but not before coming across this. All right guys, looks like we got another camo dude coming up behind us. He's coming in hot. I wonder how much those trucks go for. All right, we're almost on our, whoa, whoa, whoa. What kind of Will Smith men in black shit we got going on over here? What is this like Area 51 Stonehenge? Well, it's definitely meant to keep us out. So my natural instinct is to want to go in. Well, we actually could get in. It doesn't look like it's completely fenced off. Looks like they got it locked. Looks like they got something underneath there. There's a danger sign over there. Let's see if we can walk around here. Get a better look at it. Looks like it says, Danger, Central Ground, Do Not Disconnect. Maybe they got some, like, fiber wires down there or something. Maybe it's some sort of teleportation device. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Well, it can't be that important, because if it really was, they would have this completely sealed off. 
you can pretty much almost turn down any dirt road when you're out in the middle of the desert, especially near Area 51, and you're pretty much guaranteed to find something. Whether it's a mine, an old building, some trash, some debris, you just never know what you're going to find out here. Now if we come across an alien spaceship, <laughs> that's another story. Okay everybody, so now we're at the black mailbox. Paul had to get out and stretch his legs. And for those of you that don't know the story behind the black mailbox, it's basically kind of like a letters to Santa, but only for aliens. You come here, you write your letter to your alien friends, and someone, we don't know who, but then I guess they supposedly deliver it to the aliens. Who knows? Let's see if there's anything inside. Three, two, one. Ah! Mainly just trash. From Wall Heath, England. Hells yeah, Groom Lake Road. No turning back now. Actually, there's no sign that even says Groom Lake Road. It's just a stop sign. But if you go on Google Earth and try to find it, it'll say Groom Lake Road on there. Looks like we got us about a seven mile drive. We'll be there in no time. And if we're lucky, we'll maybe see like the white bus that brings the uh, employees of Area 51 out of the base. All right, guys, so we're almost to the front gate. We're approaching the first warning sign right here. I'm gonna get out and tell you a little bit about this one so that way you don't make the same mistake I did if you come out here. There is a camo dude up on the hill over there. I'm gonna zoom out, or sorry, zoom in in just a second, so hang tight. Let's see if the camo dudes are in the talk. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's windy out here. All right, like I said, the sign pretty much says don't be a dumbass. It's the same warning sign at the other gate. And the first time I came out here, I actually only came up to this sign because I thought this was the gate. But the gate is actually another 30 second drive up there. We're gonna go there in just a second. And as you can see up here, oh, by the way, camo dudes, if you can hear us, I'm a computer nerd. I'm not a threat, but you can see the camo dudes up there. We're gonna get a little closer too once I get done filming here. So this is what it looks like once you drive past that first warning sign. And don't feel like scared or worried about going past the gate, because trust me, you're gonna notice it. And there she is the front gate. We're gonna whip a shitty over here. You can see the camo dudes up on the hill. I really hope you guys can hear me because it is a little windy out here. But yeah, this is the front gate right here. And then I'm gonna zoom in on the camo dudes for you. They're just chillaxing up there, probably scrolling through their Instagrams on their phones or something. I don't know, maybe they can't even use their phones while they're working. But then again, I can't either and I do. I hope you guys can see it, but up there, right there, there is like either some sort of like infrared or motion sensor up there. I thought there was another one. Oh, there is. It is, I don't know, right about there. So they could probably hear and see me coming from a long ways away. They're probably just bored as hell sitting up there going, another damn tourist, because that's exactly what I am. All these signs are pretty much the same and you can see the fence with barbed wire goes all the way across there. And I think we're actually gonna go up there because I saw a couple of other YouTube videos where people were going up there. So we're gonna try for it. Okay, so there's the camo dudes up there. Oh, it's freaking cold out here. They're just chilling, watching me, making sure I don't do anything stupid like Storm Area 51, like Naruto. Looks like they have some sort of antenna tower over there. God only knows what that's for.
All right, so now I'm gonna try to take a picture with my alien friend here in front of the camo dudes. They probably won't do anything. I really hope we don't get shot for doing this. They're gaining on us! They're gaining on us! They're gonna pass us! They're gonna pass us! Where's all these trucks coming from? And that makes three. The Area 51 worker bus is actually right behind me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get um, further up ahead here on the road, pull over and try to get some video of them for you guys. I wasn't expecting this, but I'm glad I didn't stop filming. All right, everybody. That's the Area 51 bus right there. I'm gonna try to get a good view of it. Looks like it's dropping them off. I don't want to get too close in the event they, uh, you know, suspect something. But that is the Area 51 bus that takes the employees to and from Area 51. Looks like they're going to that little gas station there. Probably gonna get beer and shit. Who knows? All right, I'm not gonna stay around and find out. Peace. <laughs>